How's everybody doing today? We are going to be checking out a McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse King Shazam from the Infected series. So as we take a look at the box, really cool King Shazam. Uh, you know, I like the gritty figures. Um, this one just looks good. Um, really stoked with how he came out here. He, <coughs> excuse me, he's kind of got the similar shoulder pads to Robin King. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at this box. We got King Shazam, small window. <clears throat> this side, King Shazam, the infected. And then as we roll around to the box, <clears throat> the back of the box, we've got this really cool artwork right here. I'll try to zoom in on that a little bit just so you can see it. It says each figure comes with a collectible trading card. So that's pretty cool. And they also come with a figure stand. It says down here at the bottom, collect them all. Uh, we've got different figures in the set. We already have this Batman and this Wonder Woman. So looks like we still need to get those possibly to get the wave of these characters finished. I'm not exactly sure. I thought these two were in a separate wave with some other figures, but never know. Now we got to try to find these three. Uh, I'll probably try to find this Dark Seed first because that looks like the coolest out of the set. So now we've taken a look at the box. Let's go ahead and get him pulled out of the box. All right, so you're going to grab a sharp knife, and then it should be really easy just to cut through the little bits of tape, or I guess they're not. It's, it's more like stickers that they put on these boxes, like round stickers. Yeah, I got them all. I thought I missed one or something. There's normally three, one on each side and one on the top. So there's King Shazam. And then as you can see, per normal, he comes with that figure stand and the King Shazam, the infected card, which we will pull out in just a little bit. First, let's check him out. It looks like he comes with an extra set of hands. I don't see any weapons in the pack, just an extra set of hands. So let's go ahead and get these bands clipped. And is that all? Are we, are we limited to just those two bands? Because that would be great. One. Two. I think that might be it. And then the cape's going to be holding them in there as well. Let's get these little extra hands out first. And then we've got to feed that cape up through there. Plop. And we have another super cool figure from Todd McFarland. I'll tell you what, as far as these things go, he is on the ball. These figures are awesome. They articulate well. They look good. The sculpts are good. And they do include a figure stand. So when you're having issues getting them to stand up like I am presently, you can plug that figure stand in. But I always like to get them stood up on their own before I put the figure stand to work. So are you going to make it? There he is standing on his own King Shazam closer look. So before we take the figure stand out and the card out, let's go ahead and take a look at this figure. Um, we're going to go through some of his articulation right after we take a look at the extra hands that he came with. Now, as you can see, he came with two open or gripping style hands. This one's kind of got the pointer finger open. This one, it's completely closed, but then he did come with a right and left hand punching fist. And it looks like he's got some pretty serious spiked knuckles on there. So that's pretty nifty. You're definitely not gonna wanna get hit by this guy. That's gonna hurt like, a, like no other getting punched in the face with some of those things. And it looks like those are on the hands that come on him as well. As far as his articulation goes, let's see. Does his hood come back? It looks like the hood is glued or pinned to the head. So it does articulate to the left. It can turn to the right. Can we do a full 360? Yes, we can. Kind of wonks up the that a little bit because this is soft plastic so that's pretty cool it would have been cool if you could have taken it off or something just to see what his head looked like uh, as far as his arms go they will go up 
will go out. We do have a bicep swivel and a shoulder swivel. That bicep swivel is stiff. His whole shoulder just swiveled instead of just the bicep. Let's see if we can get that broken a little bit. Oh, there it goes. It's really stiff. Then it looks like, do we have, yes, pinned double jointed elbow so he can get maximum reach here. When we come down to his wrist, it does rotate 360 degrees as well as bend in and it will bend back. He does have a diaphragm cut in the middle. The bottom of his lightning bolt here is not attached, which allows him to use that range of motion a little bit. He can, he can do it a little bit, not as much as some other characters have been able to, but not too bad. And then at the waist, if we hold the diaphragm cut, it looks like he doesn't want to spin at the waist. It looks like he is meant to spin at the diaphragm. So I'm not going to put too much strain on that waist because I don't want it breaking. As far as the splits go, of course, McFarlane doing the splits like only John claude Van Damme can do. Pretty exciting when it comes to the, the articulation of these guys. Now, he does not have a thigh cut here, but we do have the double jointed knee. It is pinned, and it does look kind of funny the way it separates into three pieces here to get the actual bend going on. But I'm not going to probably have mine bent up that far, so won't be as noticeable these little pieces right here you can kind of bend them it looks like they are in danger of possibly breaking off the way that plastic's turning white there so i'm not going to bend on that too much as far as the boot goes no boot cut but we do have a ball joint at the foot that can go up it can go down and then the toe also has a joint which is pivoted and stiff there it goes i heard you heard that snap this guy is stiff as can be so let's go ahead and get him posed up here and we're going to get him on his figure stand take a look at his card that came with him maybe do some comparisons and give our final thoughts If you're wondering about scale, this guy scales in right at 7 inches, about the same as all the rest of the figures. If you remember, if you saw the video, Batman here is just a tiny bit shorter than Superman. Right all right around what they classify 6 foot 2, 6 foot 3, which equivalates to roughly 7 inches for each one of these characters. I forgot to mention that, but as you can see, just the size of his legs, arms, everything just scales right in line with the rest of these DC McFarland toys, action figures, and I just think it's absolutely great. The look that we're getting with all of this stuff, especially this like death metal version, we got the infected version, we have the vampire version. So I'm just really excited about everything that's out. All of the cool action figures coming to us. Two thumbs up. You guys let me know down in the comment who's your favorite DC figure. If I haven't reviewed him already, I'll try to get on that, get him taken care of and knocked out of the park. And as we know, there's multiple versions of each character. So I will probably try to find the dark gritty version first, but I will also be collecting the um, pretty much the standardized versions. You know, your normal Superman, your normal Batman. It's just I started leaning into these uh, grittier figures first. So... I'm really enjoying them, and I'm probably going to keep picking them up, but I do have some of the regular variants as well. We will be getting to those eventually. I think you can see we got a Superman up there that's more just like a regular style Superman. But uh, yeah, so as far as comparing him, he works right along with the rest of the line. He scales in with a 7-inch Masterverse characters as well. But uh, the Ninja Turtles here, these are six inches, so they're going to be a little shorter. And I feel like if you wanted to play with them together, they should be a little shorter. The Turtles were a little bit shorter than the humans were. So I feel like everything would just scale right in nice, especially if you were going to use something like these 90s NECA movie turtles. I just feel like that would look really cool. You could kind of create your own world. So there we've got him all set up on his figure stand. Like I said, he does not come with any weapons. Uh, the figure stand, the extra hands, and the card are going to be what he comes with. And I suppose the kind of knuckle dusters on the end of his uh, wrist bracer armor gauntlet things there could be considered a weapon. He just doesn't come with any extra weapons. As far as his card goes, this is what it looks like. Same as the picture on the back of the box. It says King Shazam the Infected. As we flip it around to the back, it says real name, Billy Batson, 
with the defeat of his twisted with the defeat of his twisted dark knights the batman who laughs sought to create a new team by infecting six heroes with the same strain of the joker venom that transformed him among those chosen for his evil army was billy batson the wilder of the power of Sh the wielder of the power of Shazam after infection Shazam donned the name King Shazam and was tasked with infecting Superman and bringing him to their side so that's a cool story sorry I messed up some of the words there as usual we have these top loaders comes with 35 in a pack um, you can pick these up at Walmart Target pretty much anywhere like that and then the card will just slide right into the top Give it a couple taps and it'll slide to the bottom and that'll keep your card fully protected in the case no dog ears no bends no rips no tears nothing spilling on it just uh keeps it protected and that's what i like to do with my cards i've got all of them in these little cases like this and i highly re recommend you do the same if keeping the card is something you're interested in so here are our final thoughts of king shazam he's awesome his backstory is awesome. The character is awesome. I do think that this is possibly a reuse of the one that came with King Robin, which would make sense. We got King Shazam. We got King Robin. So really excited to have him in, in the collection here. I'm probably going to stick him right up beside Catwoman somewhere right around there. It looks like we got space for him. And, uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you catch all the future videos, tell somebody you love them, and most importantly, have a blessed day. We'll see you in the next one, guys.